Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss example 6 of trigonometry chapter. If cos x is equal to minus 3 by 5 and x lies in the third quadrant, find the values of other 5 trigonometry functions. Here the value of cos is given that is minus 3 by 5 and they are asking us to find the other 5 trigonometry functions like sec x, sin x, cos x, tan x and cot x. So we need to find the value of all these now. So now here cos x is given, if cos x is given, then we can easily find the sec x, isn't it? Because sec x is the reciprocal of cos x, that is 1 by cos x. So what is the value of cos x? 1 by minus 3 by 5. So when I reciprocal this, I get minus 5 by 3. The minus sign here is because of the quadrants. See here students, this is the first quadrant, this is the second quadrant, third quadrant and the fourth quadrant. In the first quadrant, all the trigonometric functions are positive. In second quadrant, the sign is positive and if the sign is positive, its reciprocal cosec is also positive. In the third quadrant, the tan is positive. If tan is positive, then its reciprocal cot is also positive. And in fourth quadrant, cos is positive and if cos is positive, then its reciprocal sec is also positive. You can remember this like add sugar to coffee or like all students take coffee or ASTC rule. Anyhow, here x lies in the third quadrant. So secant in the third quadrant is negative. It is not positive. The secant is not positive here. That's why you are having a negative sign here. Okay. We found secant. Now let us find the other trigonometric functions like sin x, cos x, tan x and cot x. Now here we have cos x. And from cos x we have derived sec x. Now we can also derive sin x from cos x. See here, we know that sin square x plus cos square x is equals to 1. We already have the value of cos. So if we substitute the value of cos, we can easily get the sine value, isn't it? So sin square x plus what is the value of cos? Minus 3 by 5. And this square comes from this cos square. That is equals to 1. So sin square x plus 3 by 5 whole square is 9 by 25. That is equals to 1. As I need only sine term here, I'll shift this term on the other side of the equation. That will be 1 minus 9 by 25. So sine square x will be 16 by 25. And if I shift this square on the other side of the equation, it will be root, root of 16 by 25. So root of 16 by 25 is nothing but plus or minus 4 by 5. But in the third quadrant, sine is negative. It is not positive. In the third quadrant, sine is not positive. That's why the negative sign here. So we got the value of sine. Now from sine, we can easily derive cosec x because cosec x is equals to 1 by sine x. So substitute the value of sine x here and cosec x is equals to, when I take the reciprocal of this, it will be minus 5 by 4. This minus sign because the cosec is not positive in the third quadrant. That's why the minus sign here. We found the three values. Now two more to find that is tan and cot. So what is tan? Tan is equals to sine by cos, isn't it? So we have the value of sine and cos also. Value of sine x is minus 5 by 4 and cos x, the given value of cos x is minus 3 by 5. So minus minus cancels and phi and phi get cancelled. So what remains is 4 by 3. Next cot. Cot is a reciprocal of tan. So it will be 3 by 4 obviously. But if you follow the identity, you get the same answer. That is cot x is equal to cos x by sin x. Uh, cos x is minus 3 by 5 and sin x is minus 4 by 5. So what remains is 3 by 4. So these are the values of the other trigonometric function. That is sec x is equal to minus 5 by 3. And this is the sin x, cos x, tan x and cot x. Thank you students. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much.